Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about passing. First things first, let's address something. Yes, my hair is purple, and yes, I'm loving it so much. Highly recommend if you don't have like, you know, a serious job that would look at you all crazy if you had pastel hair. <laughs> Second, I need your guys' opinions, okay? I have some video ideas for my channel. Um, some, well obviously most that involve volleyball, but some that are more like lifestyle, like non-volleyball stuff. So like life vlogs, I've, I've done makeup on my channel, I've done, you know, some other things not volleyball specifically related. So I'm going to put a poll here. I need to know whether you guys are cool with my channel being like, you know, mixing it up after doing volleyball, 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 or do you guys just want to keep it solely to volleyball related content? So whether that's me playing in a tournament, uh, me doing like vlogs of volleyball, um, all that stuff. So I need your guys' opinion, whether it's in the poll and or in the comments. Um, especially what you guys want to see in my channel. So that would be greatly appreciated. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. And if you want to learn how to pass, let's keep watching. At the end of the day, in order to be a good passer, it's all about where your angle is facing. If your angle is facing the target, then it's gonna go there. If your angle is not facing the target, then it's not gonna go there. That's honestly how, how straight up passing is. In this video, I'm passing off of a ball machine that my friend is helping me out with. But if you don't have a ball machine and you do have a friend, then go ahead and have your friend just toss a free ball in or just bowl it to you underhand so that it creates top spin and it's getting on your platform. For good ready position, you just want to be nice, athletic, and relaxed. You want to be able to be in a comfortable position to where you're able to move efficiently. As you can see, my arms and hands are nice and relaxed. My full body is engaged. My shoulders are facing forward instead of upright and away from where I want to pass the ball. And I want my shoulders facing forward rather than upright because I want to prepare my platform and my angle to face the target as early as possible and as efficiently as possible. All right, let's talk about body movement. If you see the best passers in the world, you will see that they are not swinging their platform to get the ball to where it needs to go, especially on fast serves, okay? Serve receive is extremely important if you wanna be a great passer. You can't just uh, defend and say, oh, I can, I can pass. No, defending is different from passing, okay? So here's what you want to happen. Ideally, you want to have as little movement as possible in your full body. It's gonna allow you to move your body in a way that's able to repeat consistent contact. Whereas if your body is moving all over the place, all, o all over the time, <laughs> and if your body is moving all over the place all the time, you're just gonna repeat inconsistent movement. You're not gonna have uh, that same contact on your platform that you want. Your timing is gonna be off. And if you are moving all over the place, you probably should work on reading. So I'm gonna show some clips of me having as simple and minimal body movement as possible. And I'm also going to show you some clips of me not being balanced, uh, just moving all over the place, making bad reads, and not being uh, consistent with my form. I'm reading, and if I have to move my feet, I'm taking my feet to the ball. Then I shape my shoulders to target. So I'm starting to tilt my shoulders this way, right? So if my hands are on the right side of my body, I'm tilting back to the left. And if my hands are on the left side of my body, I'm tilting back to the right. But I want to tilt, tilt my shoulders or shape my shoulders in a way that gets my angle back to the target zone. So again, I'm reading where the ball is going. I'm taking my feet to the ball if I need to. I'm shaping my shoulders and putting my hands and wrists together, shaping back to the target. I'm contacting the ball on my forearms. And I'm holding my form after so that I know where the ball is going and so that I can understand if my body is balanced or not balanced.
Since my forearm is a lot more stable in terms of surface rather than my wrist, because it's bony, um, I want to contact on the flatter surface of my, of my platform. So I'm gonna contact on my forearm between my wrist and my elbow, right? It's got more surface area, which leads to more ball control. Another important tip is that you want to contact in front of your body as much as possible. So you never want to have your platform or your hands behind your body. And if you absolutely have to contact behind your body, you, it's really important that your angle really is facing the target. But I highly recommend do not pass behind your body because it will shank off of your platform and go either to the side or behind you. Uh, you want to contact around your belly button area, around your stomach to belly button area. There's going to be times where the ball is going to get really high and you're going to have to take the ball really high around your shoulder area. But ideally, if, if you're reading the right things, if your body's moving the way it's supposed to, and you're stopped and balanced, you want to be able to contact around your belly button or your stomach area. Um, we're going to call it your strike zone. Additionally, it's really hard to pass a great serve receive ball when your platform is really close to your body. So you wanna have it out and away from your body as much as possible. Extend those arms, go ahead and expose that surface area rather than keeping it very tight to your body. I also do not teach pass every single thing in their midline because I don't think it's very, um, I don't think you can do it every single time, especially the higher, more elite levels you get, it's really hard to be able to move your feet behind the ball every single time and pass in your midline. So being able to pass outside of your body and create angles with your shoulders, shaping them back to target is gonna make you a better passer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot. Um, feel free to leave comments down below. Please, again, like this video so that I know that you guys like these types of videos. And I'd love your feedback. And um, honestly, I love and appreciate comments uh, from you guys that say, hey, I worked on this, I tried this, and it worked. And again, that's 
That's why I do these types of videos is to help you guys. It's fun for me because I love coaching and I love playing and I love helping people grow and learn and get better at volleyball. So yeah, I enjoy reading those comments and I hope you guys continue to get better because that's what it's all about. All right guys, I will see you in my next video. If you volley, I dig it.